What's up guys? Welcome back. We're going to be doing a seal today. We did a uh, lobster last time and we're going to be doing it in the exact same kind of style. Really low pixels and just kind of making a really a starting point. <clears throat> and for me, I actually go ahead and put these pixel things in the game because I'm trying to keep things super, super simple. So let's do a seal. So just like before, we uh, we subdivided the starting cube, and then we cut off half of it, and then we <clears throat> added the reflecting mirror modifier over the y-axis, and now we can start playing with our seal. And uh, first off the bat, seals are fat. They are squished. Or alternatively, we could have brought out... We could have brought out on the x-axis. We could have scaled it out and made it more of like a rectangle. That's what I'm trying to do right now. All right, seal. We're trying to make a Mediterranean seal, but I guess Mediterranean seals basically look like regular seals. So a seal is basically kind of an, a long cylinder. It's kind of like a lobster, actually, like... <laughs> at the uh, bottom part and then it's got some fins and then it's basically got a dog head okay so I think we're gonna extend out uh, we'll, uh, we'll scale on the x-axis to extend out the rectangle and then we gotta start thinking about making the seal round so that means we have to add edge loops. We were able to make the lobster for less than 200 vertices, which was really good. But I don't think that's going to happen the seal. I think we're going to have to go deeper. So I'm just going to make some vertices that we can play with. I don't want to make too many because it's going to get too difficult to uh, <clears throat> alter it. So hit the C button to grab the circle thing. You can uh, extend and tighten up the uh, this radius in which the grabber grabs, if that makes sense, by the uh, middle mouse wheel. Middle mouse wheel does that. And what we're doing is we're just, we're going to be scaling out the uh, middle parts, basically. I think we're going to be grabbing everything except... The bottom uh, two edges actually. Let's see how that goes. Scale that out. Ooh, something weird happened down here. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright, that's alright. I actually do like what happened there. Although it wasn't perfect, was it? I see why it wasn't perfect. We need to, <clears throat> we need to include. Um, these ones that's why let's scale it out on the X is that right no that's not right okay I think I see what's wrong now instead of including these uh, this one we want to uh, ah man this is tricky I think we don't include these. Let's just see what we get. Uh, we accidentally included this one. All right. Yeah, that's kind of what we wanted to do. But uh, I think I'm overcomplicating it. We're going to do it piecemeal. We're going to bring the front out. I was trying to do too much too fast. We'll bring the front out. Scale that on the x-axis out. I 
and then we'll bring uh, the sides out. Uh, if you want to do like roundness and you don't want to, you can actually make it quite exact, but if you just want to kind of hack it in there real quick, you can uh, bring out all the sides together and then you can deselect. Dropped one and picked one up. You can deselect uh, the other two and then you can bring out, ah, I pushed the wrong button, <laughs> that Y button creates a whole nother ring. I accidentally subdivided it afterwards. Okay, there we go. This vertice is wrong. So we'll just move these two in. So yeah, that looks exactly like a seal now, so we're done. No, just joking, we're not done. Uh, we gotta make it even more round. We're gonna do the top round part. And just like we did before, whoops, we're gonna uh, raise it on the z-axis a little bit, and then we're gonna deselect the one uh, that's, or I guess we're gonna select the one that's in the innermost, and then we're gonna do the same thing again. So now we're starting to have a cylinder. All right, so a seal is longer than this. So we're gonna extend it again on the x-axis. All right, uh, what, else we, what else do we wanna do? The seal is fatter around the top part. So we could make these vertices Let's see here. See how that goes. We'll scale this on the Z axis. Oh, whoops. <laughs> no, that didn't work. G, Z. These, these two are kind of wrong. I'll bring these up. I just want to see if that... I uh, can't really tell from that angle, can you? Whoops. I was trying to move the camera. I was trying to figure this out the other day. I'm going to need to look into that. Definitely done it before. Maybe you can just do right click snap camera to view or something. I feel like I've done that. Ah, well, I'll have to figure that out later. Um, Alright, so we want a fatter middle. I think it should be even fatter, really. Um. We'll move these ones up. <clears throat> um, okay. I think we're going to add another edge loop. Nah, not yet, not yet. You don't, you, you don't want to add a bunch of edge, edge loops if you can help it. So, whoops. It's kind of a tricky balance. I want to pull out and round out the bottom like we did at the top. And uh, this edge could be slided up a bit. S could be slid up. All right. So yeah, that's starting to look like the shape of a seal a little bit more. This is like the body. We're going to add the head and the tail. Uh, which means we got to bring those things down. Tail comes down more gradually. 
and same thing with the bottom. Uh, edge slide shift space eight. Oh man, I can't edge slide. What? What is happening? Maybe I had a rogue vertex selected. Yeah. Oh right, I have to hit the. I keep forgetting that. You have to hit the. Uh, left mouse button to make it actually happen. I was going to bring this edge loop back. Um, I think I do have to add a new edge loop. It's unfortunate. It has a lot of vertices, <laughs> but that's kind of what you want to do. You don't want to just like add vertices where you want to add your change because it kind of has to keep this form of having vertices uniformly around it and that the reason that that is is because uh, when you go to manipulate the object sorry I'm trying to figure out exactly so edge slide this guy when you go to manipulate the object later like if you have to make big changes then I'll bring these guys down because I want to make more of a belly that was the whole point of this Uh, oh man, do I want to start in the head? So like I was saying, yeah, if, so if I decide that, you know, this, the back's all wrong and all this and that, if I have a bunch of vertices down here and they're not associated with a ring, it becomes problematic. Uh, I'm not doing a good job of explaining why that is. I've just found that, like, when I've had to go back and make changes to a model, if I've done this ring... If I've kind of built rings as I go, everything's just is easier. I'm actually able to change it up. But if there's not rings and I want to change like this whole area, uh, sometimes you have to go in and you have to delete a bunch of work you've done, and then you have to, you can create the vertices you need. I, it's the best way I can describe it. So you kind of want your model to kind of look like you know evenly placed rings of vertices kind of, you know, if your model's a, uh, like a cylinder, anyway. A lot of models are cylinders, though, I've found. Um, but if your model's just like a, a castle, there's no reason to have any vertex in, on any of the walls. Even if you want to make it look like it, the stones are all bumpy on the castle, you can do that with normal mapping. You should just have a straight, <laughs> you know, just a, like four vertices having it be a wall, or really eight, so you can make it three-dimensional. All right, are we ready for the head? Or do we want to do the flippers? Or are we not done? We're not really done with our... Well, I don't think we're going to really know how done we are. Regardless, I want to fix this guy. That's better. Uh, we're eventually just going to have to move forward, and we might have to make changes. So we're doing the tail side. The tail side skinnier than the than the head side. So we got to make sure we reflect that. So we'll, scale, we'll just actually scale this in towards the x-axis. Oh, and we got to turn on clipping too. I think we got to do that beforehand. <laughs> All right, let's try again. Oh, 
Yeah. Because when we don't turn on clipping, uh, these start to fray apart the middle seam. All right, the next thing we want to do is, uh, I think, move the tail up. It's more like that. And then I'll deselect these. And we'll, uh, we'll pull this one up as well. So he looks more like a, you know, floating in the water kind of kind of thing. Like if a whale is floating in the water, usually its tail is kind of it makes like kind of a straight line with the tail in the back. All right, so this is the tail. We, we're going to be extruding this and messing with, around with this. So we're probably going to actually delete all the all these vertices. So well, we're not going to get too crazy there. This is to pronounce this top edge. So I'm going to be bringing, I think, probably be wise to do this entire edge. We'll bring it, the entire edge down towards the middle and down on the Z. Whoops. Whoops. All right. I just want to see what that looks like. So it's starting to look more like a, a sheep torso. And I gotta really just make some decisions about how detailed I wanna go. I think this ring needs to be tightened up a little bit. I'm just going to scale it towards the middle. I don't think I really want to mess around with the seal body more than that right now. So, I think, so let's see, we got to do the flippers, we got to do the fins, and we got to do the head. Vertex wise, we're doing well. We're only using, uh, so far, 66 vertex vertices, but ooh, look at that little clipping issue down there. See that? <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I think I can just bring it, bring this in towards the middle to fix it. But what happens if I try to pull it out now? So now it won't go. See what I'm saying? Interesting. So because clipping's checked, now we can't pull the vertices out from the middle. But when we uncheck it, we can. So that's how that works. Uh, this ring has got to be tightened up. It's not really a ring. That's kind of a problem. That's not a ring. That's all right. Actually, maybe we can address that. We'll move this Y vertice up. Oh, that's the wrong axis, isn't it? Uh, we're going to move it up the X axis. And then in on the Y. That's a little bit better. Maybe we'll move this one. No, that one's good. So you're able to select an edge loop all at once by holding Alt and then left clicking, but it's not doing that here. And I'm not exactly sure why. I bet. Whoops. <laughs> I always do that. I bet you it'll work with this one though. Yeah, I see that. So, oh, you know what? It must be because these two aren't connecting. If these two were connected, it probably would. Let's do a test. So we're going to be deleting this face and then going back into vertex mode. Then we're going to be adding a connection between these two. Then we're going to be uh, filling out the two faces and then we're going to be testing again. Does holding alt and left click select this edge loop now? Yeah, see what I'm saying? It, it worked better. It still didn't work all the way because we're missing one here. Um, we might as well add it in. The truth is it's, um, it's the same amount of geometry anyway, I believe. Uh, because when you have a, it all, I think it all boils down to triangles in the end. So if you have a face where there's four points, it's actually two triangles. It's not, uh, a, uh, unless it truly is a plane, 
unless these all line up on the same plane. But rarely do four points that you're working with line up on the same plane like that. Just want to make sure I didn't grab a rogue vertice. All right, so now we made that change. I just want to, whoops, start animating something. All left click. Yeah, see now that edge loop is selected. So now we can now we finally we can bring it in. Before I do that though, I think I'm going to bring these two back, just so it plays a little nicer. And bring this one forward. Yeah. Then we'll scale this just inward with no axis uh, in particular. I think we'll scale it towards the y-axis now. Oh, yeah. So sometimes that happens. Uh, I think it's because it's not, it's not scaling it on the y-axis where we want. Oh, God. What have we done? <laughs> uh, I've done this before. So that's Z. So if you if you accidentally <laughs> turn it into wire mode, you can change the way uh, it's rendered in your just the 3D model viewer thing. If you want to go into wireframe and look inside something, you know that's helpful for that. All right, so that happens when you uh, hit Z. So sometimes you select vertices and you're, you you want to scale on the Z axis, but you don't hit S, so you just hit Z. And then you accidentally hit this, and then you're like, oh, what did I do? You just hit Z again. And you go back. All right, this is looking good. We're going to save. Actually, that doesn't look good at all. I'm going to put it into the rendered state. All right. So seal flippers and seal head and seal tail. So I think we're going to leave this video there and do a part two because this has turned into like 20 minutes or something. And so in the next part, we're going to do the tail and the flippers and the head might be tricky. That might be a video unto itself, but maybe we can squeeze it in if the flippers and tail don't take very long. So thanks for watching you guys. Uh, thanks so much. If you're enjoying it, make sure you want more content on modeling or game development. Make sure you hit that follow button or whatever, the subscribe and like. And thanks so much, guys, for hanging out.